Every week, Grace. Every week. You spoil me. Every week. <laughs> it's not much. <clears throat> and all this way. I like her. I enjoy it. Gran? Yes, dear? I'm sorry to have to ask again, but if you could possibly spare... If I had any money to spare, you know you could have it, dear. Why don't you have some tea? No, thanks. You're such a good girl, Grace. Grace. I've got to go. I shall be late for work. What was it? Only a letter. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Shan't be late back. You're late. Yes, it's Laurie. I'm sorry. You're in the children's section today. reason this time. The same. To visit my grandmother.
cares. Uh, Mrs. Maynard's groceries. Ah, thank you. Mrs. Maynard said she'd pay for last week and this week's groceries this week. She'll pay next week. Can't bring any next week if she doesn't pay this week. Anyway, Mr. Martin says to collect. How much? Five pounds sixty-eight. Have you got the new list? For next week. Mrs. Maynard will be away for fortnight, but I'll bring the list to you next week for the following week. Tell Mr. Martin. Will you? Yes. Uh, okay. Did you say you wanted to leave, Grace? 4.15, wasn't it? Yes, Miss Lauren. Well, it's 4 o'clock now. I'd like you to help in the main section until you go. There's nothing else to do in here. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. The whole library can't stop, Grace, just because you want to avoid someone. Who is it, anyway? I said I'm sorry. I'll stay on. I won't leave earlier. I'll stay as long as you like after. your visit or go later. Mrs. Clouding? Grace Miller. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I wonder if you could do me a favour. Do you think you could pot round to Grand's for me and tell her that I won't be able to make it tonight? Oh, any time. She's not expecting me till between six and a half past. No, nothing serious. Just working late. Very well, dear. I'll just get our tea and knit round about five. <laughs> Look after yourself now.
stranger. Didn't expect to find you here at this time of day. Doing your rounds for the library, are you? Yes, must keep the books in circulation. Oh, never read a book in her life till you started coming round. Have people talking if you're not careful. Why don't you just sit down for a moment, Mrs... Clouding. Clouding. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Mm. It does keep this room nice. Most women of her age let things slide, you know, but not Thelma. I was just waiting for Grace to Grace? arrive. Oh, well, I'm afraid you needn't to put yourself out. She isn't coming. Mrs. Maynard thought that... There you are, then. Shows what thought did. <laughs> no, Grace rang. She gave me a message for Thelma. She's busy, she said, working late. So you see, you needn't have bothered. Anyway, as I'm here, I'll have a cup of tea with Thelma. I haven't seen her for ages. In bed, is she? Um, no. Mrs. Maynard isn't here. Oh? Oh, she hasn't been taken ill, has no. she? No. Oh, wherever is she, then? Oh, <laughs> She asked me to stay on until Grace came so that I could pass on a message. <laughs> she gone to Torquay. To her sisters? Do you mean Marjorie's? Just for a fortnight until the, until the weather gets a bit warmer. Well, there's a turn up for the book. Never again, they said, not after the last time. Well, they, they called this afternoon and took her back with them. I shall be moving in until she gets back to look after Gypsy in the house. Well, she normally leaves those sort of things to me. I left my hotel this morning and had nowhere to go. Mrs. Maynard is doing me a favour. Oh, well. So long as we know, as long as there's somebody here, that's the main thing. Yes. Oh. Should be comfortable. <laughs> yes. Oh. I suppose I'd better leave you to uh, settle in, then. I'll get your coat. Funny woman, Thelma. But she keeps a nice home. Mad about Grace, you know. Photos everywhere. Thinks the world of her. Mind you, so do I. She's such a nice girl. Don't you think, Mr. George? Close the curtains. It's a good girl. Don't let everyone looking in. Please, Grace. I'll make some tea. Would you like that? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you came back earlier. I had to work late, so it wasn't worth going all that way for so short a time. That was a bill this morning, Grace, wasn't it? Yes. It was the rent. How much was it for? Don't let's talk about it. We'll... Have some of this cake I bought for Gran. How much was it for? I want to know. Six months. What are we going to do? We'll have to see.
to go now, Father. It's late. What time is it? I let you sleep in. Yeah. We were far too late last night. <laughs> Comfortable? Mm. I'll fill this up with hot water for you, and then you'll be all right, will you? Yes. I wish you didn't have to work, Grace. So do I. Nobody calls. I've taken this morning off so that I can go and see Gran. Oh, library let you off, have they? Time owed. <sighs> I shouldn't be back for your lunch any later than usual, but if Mrs. Martin should call... Not till next week. She knows where the key is. <laughs> oh, the paper. Be all right, Grace. Thanks. Of course, we do. went yesterday. I haven't seen her for a fortnight. Oh, no. Oh, it won't hurt. You go. I was to give you the message yesterday, but then Mrs. Glowding called with your message, and <laughs> that's that. Mission completed. She let you stay. Just like that. Mm. Your grandmother's told me a lot about you. We've never met. Ah, but we have seen each other. Over the bookshelf. Never spoken. It's always the same. I, I've worked in the library for ten years. And everyone that you don't want to talk to you, those who bore you stiff, they're always coming up to you and they, they start discussing the latest banality of a book or whatever. Why me, I ask? Why me? You wouldn't believe the conversations I get involved in. Situations like that, you just can't get aware. I stand there nodding and smiling and being oh so charming. Bored silly. Trapped. Just because I'm so bloody feebler, I haven't got the nerve to say what I really want to say. Shut off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. I'm the same. I, I would have thought you could have said anything. Ah, oh, well, you can't when it comes to it, can you? Uh, and the, the people that you want to talk to you, well... They never do. Exactly. It's silly. At uh, least I, I got myself transferred to the children's department. You're not working today. Nor ever again. I gave in my notice yesterday afternoon. Not that it was accepted, mind you. Take a day off, think it over, Grace. We don't mind you taking a day off. Take two. You're such a nice girl. <laughs> Beatty Glowding. I'm over 30. Take a day off to think it over. 
I've thought about it for ten years. There are so many things I've wanted to do, so many places to see, things to achieve. I've spent ten years saying, never mind, Grace. They'll still be there tomorrow. Still be there. In the library, I thought, if only I could scream, if only I could do something outrageous, not just to draw attention to myself, but to give me one big embarrassment to cope with. Somehow, I thought that would take my mind off all my little problems. And if I did something like that, I, I wouldn't have to pretend to be nice anymore. I wouldn't have to pretend to be charming. And it sack me. I could do whatever I wanted. Sometimes I, I've said obscenities so loudly to myself in my mind that I thought I'd spoken them. I hadn't, of course. But you couldn't scream, so you just left job and home. You intended staying here? Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, all right, I, I did. Your grandmother's away? Yes. You could still stay here? Oh, no. No, I, I wouldn't do that. Why not? Well... Oh, be truthful. Stay if you, if you want to stay, don't if you don't. You could spend a whole fortnight doing whatever you wanted to. Deciding. Nobody would bother us. I didn't just leave home. Oh, you wouldn't have to think of anything like that. Scream all the time if you want. It could only be for 14 days anyway. Why don't you just do whatever you want? We'll turn the whole world upside down. What about you? I'm only allowed 14 days anyway. As long as you give me those, I'd like you to stay here. <laughs> Till Grandma returns. Fourteen days, 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 days.
Henry. I call you Grace. You can't call me Mr. George. It doesn't matter. I, I thought you were in the bathroom. I, I can't open the door. It seems jammed. I think it's locked. I tried to get in yesterday. Your grandmother must have taken the key with her. What on earth would she have done that for? I brought you some tea. Do you mind if I have mine with you? No. Back in a minute. In the garden. Strange getting up at night. <laughs> this mine? Mm. Nobody else's. <sighs> Did you sleep? Yes. How? She's forgotten her stick. So? What are we going to do about it? I mean, even if we can't have a bath, we've got to be able to wash. We'll have to wash downstairs. Oh, it's only cold water. There is a kettle. We'll manage. I don't do anything now. What did you used to do on the days I never saw you at the library? Well, you only ever saw me one out of seven. What did you do? Deliver books. Were they all old people like my grandmother? Mostly. Anyone who couldn't get out to a library. Oh, I used to change books for nursing homes as well. Did you like it? What a question. Why didn't you do something else? Things don't happen that way. Things don't happen like that for me, but for you. I was everybody's boy. You used to live in a hotel, didn't you? <sighs> Full of old ladies, huh? I used to play the piano for them as well. Chopin and Bach. Classy hotel. Impoverished. <laughs> the way my grandma talks, I thought it was the Ritz. Well, I think I might have told her that. Have you ever been married? What do you want to ask that for? If I have been, it doesn't matter. Just take as you'll find me for a fortnight. I will be as... as you would have me be. Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor. Rescuer? Yes. Come on. You must have some money. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'll go if you just give it No, me. don't... I haven't. Oh. You mean it? You really haven't? No. You have, though. No. I thought you were joking. No. I had to pay your grandmother's grocery bill yesterday. That was two weeks. 
Out of your own money? Yes. Oh, well, we're all right, then. Nothing to worry about. Very clever about money, my grandma. See where she keeps it. No fool. That's what I hate about her most. What's that? She's so precise. Everything goes away every week. She owes you exactly. Uh. No. Don't tell me. Five pounds, 68 pounds. Exactly. What did I tell you? I can do anything I like, can't I? Yes. Here you are, then. Gas, electricity, rent. Oh, I've wanted to do that for a long time. What shall we get? Lots and lots of sherry. I won't be long. See you soon. Bed. Great. Mm. You all right? Mm. Had too much. <laughs> Bit tiddly. <laughs> curtains open all the time in the daylight. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Sleep well. I'll just catch the shop. If you <laughs> hurry.
Thanks. I'll be down in a minute. Take it in the morning. for another week. It's no good, Grace. Part of a week. Just part. No. Oh, please. Please. Mrs Maynard, have a nice holiday. Yes, yeah, she had a wonderfully relaxing time. She arrived back this morning. Oh, good. Oh, how much is it? Two pounds thirty this week. <laughs> what are we going to do? We'll have to see. If I had any money to spare, you should have it. <laughs> it's over. Get something to eat, Grace. Tired. Well, go to bed at the proper time. I did end. 